And welcome to Portal here at Rules Card Let's Play. Uh, I heard some things about this game, you know, it's uh, a few things, or rather, I don't know how popular it is, but I thought, you know, why the hell not? Let's just play a little bit of Portal on here and exercise my brain. Yeah, see? All gone. I shaved my head. So, <laughs> got tired of it looking like crap, so I'm still going to wear the hat because, well, I'm ashamed of my scalp. So, let's just go ahead. Let's just start. I do like a nice puzzle game every once in a while. So, this game is pretty damn cool. I love, I love Portal. I've played it a lot of times. Never got through it, though. Music. And, uh, hmm. This is good. Well, well, can I put it in the potty? Let's put it right here in the. Hello, right. and oh. again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. We hope your brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen yeah. has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, Serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from. Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Okay. Oh, wait. That's me. I'm a lady. <laughs> Alright. So let's, let's just keep going here. Let's just start. At the very beginning, and first test. Okay, so very simply, we just pick up this block here and throw, put it on as a button. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the Aperture Science Weighted Storage Cube. Which we've already used. So. Eh, let's see here. It gives me an indication what to do. Can't quite make it out, but whatever. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt Aperture Science Heavy Duty Super Colliding Super Button. What should be this thing? And... Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Of course. Well, I don't know why I went back in through there, but that's okay. Um, just gotta wait for it to show back up. But yeah, Portal. Very, the very first time I've ever played this game, and a lot of people who've uh, played this game in the past, um, they played this part of the Orange Box collection that was on uh, PS3, Xbox 360, even PC. And then, of course, when Steam came along, it just became its own individual uh, game itself and spawned a sequel, which I haven't played. I haven't played Portal 2 yet, so I want to finish this game first. And let's... You're zoom. doing very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. <laughs> well, thank you for being so specific. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you. Ah! Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. 
Most importantly, under no circumstances should you. Cool, thank you for being so informative about this. Please proceed to the chamber lock. That's nice, but watch this. Haha, uh -huh. destroyed the camera and then. Yeah, it goes bye bye. So I gotta go over there and then just gotta open the portal. And. Hmm, okay. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Well, no, you don't want to do that. <laughs> well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. For STDs or uh, some other kind of uh, disease or something, you know, of some kind? I mean, sounds like a good idea to me. Thank you, Aperture. Welcome to Test Chamber 4. You're doing quite well. Well, thank you very much. Oops. I'm gonna try to aim it just right back here. <laughs> well, hell, I just have to go down here and I'm gonna have to pick you up and drop you in there. And I'm gonna go in there too. There we are. Pick it up and. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Doing great. I'm doing awesome. Here we go. What's next? Level five, I'm doing great. Ooh. A tricky puzzle, this. So, uh, go. Ah, thank you. But yeah, I've I'm really good at puzzle game. Well, I like to think I am, even though I there's been times where I feel like I'm not. But you know, it is what it is. But this one is starts off pretty easy. You get to learn the As game. As part a bit of a required more. test protocol, our previous what? statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. So Gladys now is gonna start lying. They're gonna wait. They're gonna stop enhancing the truth. I guess that that basically is saying is is lying. Hmm. While safety is one of many enrichment center goals, the Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent unbelievable. You, subject name here, must be the pride of subject on down here. <laughs> no, because some of these puzzles are not that complicated. So, and I'm not going to be like a child's play. No, <laughs> I know. There's, when we get to it, there's going to be one puzzle I'm absolutely stumped on. And that's the reason why I haven't played this game in so many years. So, just going to have to keep trying. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the Aperture Science Unstationary Scaffold to reach the Chamber Lock. Well, I'm gonna have to do my best here. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna just look down here. I gotta aim this just right. Right about here. I just gotta pay attention. Here we go. There we are. And... 
So yeah. Um. Just gotta hop over and boom. There we go. So got that nailed. Um. Yeah, this game is just. There's, there's not much I can say. It's a puzzle game, and it became a hit, uh, a runaway success for Valve. Now I'll see what's next. Please note that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Oh gee, thank you. I really appreciate that. Okay, hang on a second. Eh. <laughs> okay, well, I fucked up there. There we go. Alright, so it's got a. Yeah, this game requires a lot of thinking. most clever puzzle games I've ever played. I'm just being brutally honest with you guys. It is just very, very, very smart. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Well, uh, let's see. Make no attempt. Well, let's see here. Come on, come on, make your way through it. The Enrichment Center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. Yeah, well, I already got this part solved. Okay, now, oh yeah, that's right. Hang on a second, I think I already screwed up. Once again, the Enrichment Center offers its most sincere apologies on the occasion of this unsolvable test environment. Yeah, well, hang on a second. Um, I have solved this before. Aha! Frankly, this chamber was a mistake. Oops. If we were you, we would quit now. I kind of fudged up here. Well, that's okay. I just got to pick it up. No one will blame you for giving up. In fact, quitting at this point is a perfectly reasonable response. Shut up, GLaDOS. I just gotta pick you up, and we just deliver the goods. And you were saying? Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, that took a little bit of thinking, so... There we go. Now it's gotta go in the elevator to the next level. Yeah, we'll just do one more. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Hello again. To Hello. reiterate, previous Okay, so this is more about moving. Let's see here. All right. And spectacular. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, or to be more precise, how it does not. Okay, so... I just gotta figure out... 
Aha. So just gonna have to Let's see which one do I need. Fire out of that one. Okay. So I should just shoot right out of there. Momentum. A function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. <laughs> no shit. Ooh, yeah. That was pretty good. Alright. So that's... I think that's 10 levels did right there. I think there's like 19 of them all together. Um, could be. I'm not sure. But, uh... It's, from my understanding, it's not a very long game. So... But it's also frustrating. So I'll tell you what, guys. On the next episode of Rose Car Let's Play, another awesome video to get you through today. So, till you hear from me again, I'll see you in a flip side.